What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And I am joined yet again by the beautiful, my wife, Allison. But we call her Allie. Um, thank you for coming. You are welcome. What are we checking out, babe? Thomas Rhett. So yesterday I checked out that song. You have shown me that song, right? Multiple times. Okay. So I, like I knew, <laughs> I, I felt like I was going crazy. He's like, was it Allie? Yep. <laughs> and you said, yeah, I've heard this song. I like it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but again, a lot of it is like paying, paying attention, but yeah. beautiful song. Um, great song. Sometimes he doesn't pay full attention. It's okay. Yeah. I'm working on that. What'd you say? Get it? That is the problem is that he will reply as if he has paid attention. And you think. And so later I'll bring it up so and I, you're like, you've never said I that I typically before. give like the appropriate you're response. Like, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. And I'm like, okay, he got it. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so <laughs> you will have not got it. Yeah. So apparently Thomas Rhett's dad is yeah. Rhett Akins. No. Atkins. Is that right? I thought he had a different. Now I got to look it up. Who is Thomas Rhett's dad? Okay, you beat me. Red Akins. Why didn't you try? Well, I don't know. This this was a, a text message from Spencer, a patron of the channel. Of course, he, of course he's Thomas got it right. Thomas Rhett and his dad is Rhett, Rhett Akins. Akins. So we, it doesn't make no sense. Comment down below. We could look it up right now, but you know what? Is that is Thomas Rhett his stage name? Like. Oh, probably. Well, the dad's only 53. Yeah, they're young family. Children. Thomas Rhett. Casey Lee Aiken. Do you know any good Rhett Aiken songs? No. Comment down below, guys. Well, okay. Um, In that video, a lot of you guys said that we have to check out this song, Live Changes. So, okay. Let's Here do it. Go. Here we go. Let's let's roll it. And I haven't heard this. Oh, you haven't? Okay. No. Ah, well, th this is going to be fun. I'd like to pull up the, the lyrics for us to take some pauses here. Um, If the pauses bug you, uh, you know, I'm supposed to do it. These videos aren't supposed to be like, I can't just play the whole song nonstop because it, it, it starts becoming like a substitute for the thing. And anyway, so we're going to pause it, talk about lyrics, talk about what we're liking about the song and let's do it. Also, in the description down below, you can find other ways to engage with the channel, support the channel to all of you who have helped out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go. Let's go. Like, up in my college dorm. Yeah. yeah, my life it was pretty normal. Looking for a date to the spring form. I wasn't worried about nothing else. No. Major this song sounds more like way more modern. Yeah. Songs I was writing, never dreamed anybody else would like. I'm now they're sitting on a Walmart shelf. Ain't it funny how life changes? You wake up, ain't nothing the same. Uh -huh. and life changes. Oh, it's the kid thing of a doctor. You never know what's gonna happen. You make your plans and you hear God laughing. Life Aww. changes. And I wouldn't change it for the world. That's good. Oh, no. Aw, dude. And I wouldn't change it for the world. The world. Oh, no. Thank you. Okay. We have a soft spot for dads being good dads publicly, encouraging all of us to step up to the plate. Yeah. I People love said that they had in the comments that they had trouble conceiving. Yeah. And they adopted uh -huh. some children. And when while they were going through the adoption, they got pregnant. Oh. So they're the kids. That happens like, a lot. Really? I feel like that happens a lot. Yeah. That happened to my cousin. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, I it's I mean it's beautiful. And yeah, so I love that he integrates his life, his family into mm -hmm. his life. He's taking mm -hmm. them to his to his concerts. It's like school, about and... going with the flow of life. Yeah, it's like it changes when having any other way. Just right because one could flow. think like, shoot, we're it. having these kids is going to distract me from this thing. No, it's just going to be a little different. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's very. This is more poppy to me. I don't feel like this is if country. It's like Maroon Fivey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like it. Yeah, this is the type too. of music I listen to. But I bought a ring and she said I do, but everybody else said me. Oh, look! If look at Rhett working out at Venice through. Beach. Hey, why don't you wait? Cause I've been waiting on her since the second grade. Yeah, and now she That's got cute, a man. Set of fans, got a blue been waiting on her since the, the second grade. That's good. A little song about holding a hand, and now everybody wanna die happy. Man. <laughs> <Ain't gonna> lie, <laughs> That's good. That's good. Changes, you wake up. Oh, 
as a Telecaster. Okay, so I just got like offended that he threw the Fender Telecaster <laughs> down, but at the same time, it's like, oh, the homeboy's like rich as all freaking ghetto. Of course, he can do that. You're the baby. No, screw that! I am offended. Cheeks on that baby. Um, in the description down below, you're gonna find uh tags to my Instagram. You know what? We're gonna start making sure Allie's is there too. If you want to see the most just munchable cheeks ever, check out our girls, man. From like a year back. I know they're getting skinny. Yeah, they move too much. They're freaking crazy. Yeah, that's a cute <laughs> picture. But um, yeah, sorry. Like I'm, I'm legitimately angry <laughs> that guitar. <laughs> Hold on. I remember the day I told my daddy and mama, "You're gonna have a grandkid yep. from Uganda." That's right. We're adopting, and she is the cutest little girl that you ever seen. While well, I was wrapping my head around being a dad, a bigger wrench got thrown in the plans we thought we had. Now there's Willow and Sweet Ada James. That's two under two. Now hey, what can I say? You haven't paid attention to that line. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. You love cuz he's like a cool guy. Like he dresses cool. Okay, he I, acts cool. I was just going to say I'm I'm man crushing pretty hard on the dude. He's wearing he's wearing Jordan 1s, high tops. See, I didn't even notice, but But yeah, wearing the Jordan 1s. Cool guitar, dresses cool. He did, he's he just, like, he got respected married, that guitar. Married young, yep. had kids, still married, yep. like cool guy. I am pr there, I have no uh, evidence of this working for anyone, but I have gotten like a message from one. Like most of my viewers are older, I think. Like most of our, like yeah, I, as we go through our demographics, 40 and I'm getting real close to forty. That's true. So, not, so they're not, like they're not our old, age and but, older. Yeah, but I, I did have like this like nineteen year old kid reach out to me. Like I can't, really? I can't remember a while back ago. And I'm proud of my advice, but he probably did not interpret because he probably ignored it completely but he was just like like hey you like cause i think he like looked me up on like linkedin and with like my job and all this stuff he's like what what advice do you have find the right person like mm -hmm. that's the most like that is the most important thing your job and your the your the person you you're with and you married and don't have kids until you're married with them and if anything avoid having avoid living if together you get pregnant get married <laughs> Big fans of marriage, <laughs> but your life is going to be mostly your spouse and your job. So hopefully you you should probably enjoy those two things, right? But homie is just showing it and right. And that's how you get people yeah. to want to emulate that life. He's just loving it, singing about it, mm -hmm. and people are going to want to follow. And that's how you do this counterculture in trying to promote people to just have a family. It's the best thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But people got to want it by just looking at you. So yeah. I like him. I'm I'm really liking the guy. Yeah, he's cool. I like him, too. Um, I'd like to get like look into some of his like maybe his deeper cuts. Maybe I see some like live. I, I want to see how he is like musically. I, mm. Right. Uh, the stuff we've checked out. It's like the like productions, produced, yeah. which which are great. But I want to. Want to see what we're working with here? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. He's clearly a. I mean, he's clearly he's the one who wrote. Hey, that's cool. The writers of the song, Ashley Gorley, Rhett Akins, his dad, Thomas Rhett, Jesse Fred. That's cool. Yeah. But anyway, that's the plan, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, babe. Anything you want to say? Nope. Well said. <laughs> much love, everybody. Till the next one.